Hi there. Thanks for tuning in to Make This Happen, where we discuss an idea we've been dying to see come alive. Every week, my friend Alexander Gonzalez and myself, Jay Yi, will bring your product you never knew you needed. Now, let's talk about video game consoles. But the first, actually, it's probably not the first, but the first of its kind of video game tabletop console. Mm. So the idea is we launch this console, quote unquote. It is what I imagine like a cube or maybe like a short cube, you know, not a cube, but like a square surface and then like goes downwards a good half an inch or about a foot of going down. Um, And on it, there's an app store. There are other things like you could probably put YouTube and stuff like that on here too. And it'll be cool because then you'll have like a table that, you know, like in, I don't know if you know this, but in Disneyland, there's like the house of innovation and in it, there's like these Microsoft surface things that are like the size of tables. And it's literally just an interactive table where you could like watch stuff on and then press like it's, it's a giant table pad, iPad. Right. And essentially that you could use it for that. Like it'll have, like you could put, wallpapers on there like moving wallpapers with like fish swimming in a pond or something but that's not the whole point the point is it's has an app store in it so you could buy board games for this thing and uh i think the coolest thing that you could do is let's say you put the we get the ip to make a jumanji board game right and it'll have like special effects video effects Pieces will move on their own. Um, so, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you created a live actual, me- live action mechanical board game similar to Zathura or Jumanji. This one's digital, yeah. but you created like a physical one where things yes. moved and you got to. Okay, I just wanted to make sure you were aware. Oh, you mean like, yeah, I've, I've made one where like a physical one. Moves around, yeah. but yeah, this is all digital. So this one would be, di- yeah, this one would be yeah. focused on digital. So there will be cool digital effects you can do as well as um, maybe there's a way where you can, where the display is shown so it, it hampers cheating. Well, I mean, people would have to be there physically so you can't really cheat, right? And it's all digital mm-hmm. too. So it's not like you could put in fake cards or whatever. Um But yeah, like you would, maybe that's another way to buy certain games where like, let's say there is a board game that would have either a special dice where it could read whatever you rolled, but through, if you roll it on the, uh, on the table itself, it like is a way to read the dice. So it knows what you rolled without you having to input it in. And so like, you could maybe buy a pack of cards and with it comes like a digital code that you put into the store and then it downloads the game for you. And so you could actually use cards as well as digital board game, right? Maybe there's an NFC reader and those cards are kind of like the animal crossing amiibo where it could read the card and then like, um, work with the console and you actually have physical cards or dice or whatever. Like, let's say you're playing monopoly and you have like chance cards, you put it on the chance card pile to the NFC chip right there. It just reads it and knows, what card that you just got you know what i'm saying yeah um and so you could do crazy stuff like let's say you get like a like a fantasy board game um you'll have effects there'll be like battle cut scenes that actually happen on the board game thing maybe you buy like a game that's kind of like risk and you could see battles actually take place like a game that normally like in risk you'd roll dice against the other person to see who wins the fight and this you get to see it play out in actual real time kind of like how civilization would do their short little battle sequences when you decide to do it but it is just a roll of the dice you know what i mean but in this you roll the dice and get to see what happens and how that actually plays out uh on the board game that itself. All right. I'm thinking that we'd want to have a couple of bundle games brought in with, uh, the peripheral or the device. So I'm thinking maybe there's a game with card companions. Like you said, like, um, 
cards that interact with the game electronically. So I'm thinking that maybe there's one that comes with a pack of 10 cards. And then that's more of a D&D RPG where you get to select your character, put it down on the ground, and then you guys get to explore. I think there could be another one where um, it's more of a versus where uh, you could set up like some type of vehicle or maybe you amass armies and you face different you face each other and then another one would be more of a strategy or puzzle game Mm -hmm. and i think you'd also come with like just normal games that you would get like chess or like i don't know card games connect four uh, poker yeah just games like that great for poker nights and i think we could also sell different themes so you can have one that's like Traditional board games, another one that's like Casino Mm, Night, mm. another one that is um, board games for after hours. And this is more of like the dirty games where uh, it's usually (laughs) ripped on adult themes. uh, Yeah, Cards Against Humanity, stuff like that. Uh Uh Um, Do you want it to go super crazy and make it like Switch where you could get like four of these together? And (laughs) there's like like a massive version that you could get or like maybe like specific games that are only no we can't do that because then it would turn people off but maybe it's more like mario party where if you have more than one of these things like three two friends that have these things you could connect them together and it'll have like an extra added benefit or something along those lines because like i think how we many do people something like that thing? yeah and i think what we could do also is be this thing's going to be obviously available to the internet um, I think that we should also have um, a sort of cloud saving feature where if you have a profile, you can mm. upload the profile and then download the profile at somebody else's house. Yeah. And so I let's think say they're cool like to have like a more long form board games like that, where you need to do this in multiple sessions type of thing. Right. Or you have a table hero game and then maybe you you play with somebody and you have to move. And then all of a sudden they're like, oh, wow, you have table hero. I actually have a character. Can I play with you guys here? Look, he's he's downloaded. He'll uh, he'll be level 12 and then you can kind of go from there. Right. Uh, That also being said, do you think there would be a way where, yeah, you could play with other people through the Internet as well? Like, can Mm -hmm. you like. You could have the option to have everyone there playing on one table, but then if you don't have that ability, yeah, you could just either random match make or invite friends to join your lobby, and it'll be as if it would play as if they were there with you, but they don't have like your friends don't have to be with you. They could have their own Most system definitely. somewhere else. Yeah, that way uh, you can join in, or you can play with different people. So if you don't necessarily have anybody, you can play and go from there. Most definitely. Yeah. Um, I think there can even be a spooky card uh, pack where there's a thing like a Ouija board um, Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and different spooky games that you can play to go along with it. I think this is all great ideas. It sounds like it would be a lot of fun to have an AR table set up that way. Yeah. And I feel like it when it's not being used. Yeah. You could just have it on rest mode. And like I said at the beginning of this, you could just have it display something cool digitally because I think it could also look pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Just being a uh, on your living room coffee table, just having a little screensaver there, just on not all the time, but whenever you want it to be, um, so it just doesn't get put away and it's this giant thing you have to find space to like put away or whatever. Uh, but also, like I said, you could use it as your media box or whatever. I don't think there's going to be like a DVD player or anything in it. But, like, you could, like, watch Netflix. You could watch um, anything I think also an iPhone could do. Like, maybe you could search through Instagram and Twitter and stuff like that. I think it could also be like that uh, where it has, like, phone stuff. Um, Standard that, apps. So yeah. would, it have, would you have media apps on it too, like YouTube? Yeah. I think it would have, like, YouTube and media apps on there. Um, and even crazier stuff. Like, maybe you could even download TikTok onto this thing. Um Okay. That being said, I also think you don't need this console to start playing games developed by us. Maybe every single board game that the the creator of this product makes is also a board game you could get or buy on your iOS or Android phone. And so you don't need the thing. If you wanted to play these games 
without the console you could just buy it on your iphone and then have like four friends that have an iphone and you could just play together like that uh i i feel like with that you'd have to be part of a service then there'd have to be kind of like a continuous subscription service and with that we'd have probably have to give away a free game mm, every so mm. often too you know yeah um i mean i'm cool with that it's it's just i feel like It'd be cool if you brought all your friends together to play this cool game that you, you bought this brand new video game console for. But then everyone goes home. And as adults, we can't always get together at once a week to play this one mm-hmm. game. So it'd be cool to be like, hey, you just want to play a couple of rounds in this launch D- D&D like, you know, fantasy board game. But you just all you have to do is play it on your phone maybe with a subscription service what it is is you could download the app i know apple won't be able to let you do this but on android you could just download the app for this console instead of you buying individual games you could it's just a portal that you could play through your phone or your yeah. uh, tablet and limited capacity but yeah we can do that because yeah. as long as you're touching it would work out fine exactly. so and i think the limited capacity would be that it would have to be games from us um and I guess your phone would also need a NFC chip reader, but most phones have that now. Like on iPhone, that's your wallet, right? That's how smartphone yeah. works. Yeah, yeah, I think so. so. It, it works out. Like you could even so, rolling dice would be hard because how are you going to roll dice onto your phone? You, you'd have to. It would have to be. It would be a random generated dice. Yeah, maybe there's also digital dice. You don't have to yeah. get the NFC cool NFC dice. Yeah, um, no, that that would all be extra. And I'm thinking yeah. this product is going to be the same thing as someone who would purchase an air hockey table a pool table oh air um, hockey would all be cool on there you know pool yeah. also a great game to have on this thing so that it would be around those those people who um you know buy the basketball machines for their garages this would be another thing to include in a game room to include in a fun room yeah just just maybe you're you're throwing a small get together and a couple of people are like hey you want to play a couple rounds of uh connect four or something you know like you could play Mm -hmm. small easy to play games that doesn't take like an hour or two like literally just 10 minutes to play on this video game console i think it would be a hit at the parties oh yeah most definitely i think so it'd be a lot of fun i'm trying to think is there anything else that we might be Uh bad I think we basically got it all. There's board games. There'll be um, chips that you can do too. The only other thing that would be cool would be if there was synchronization with card games. So that like if you buy packs at the store, there's usually um, they contain a card that has a digital code that you can then use online to redeem more cards. We could probably have like some kind of card pack companion for our RPG or something like that. Maybe that you could collect and add deeper uh, stuff to, or maybe expansions. Maybe it's that when this thing launches, it comes with two games. The first one is like that medieval fantasy board game that takes it. Could, it could be as long as you want or as short as you want. Like this board game can literally last for years with the same group mm-hmm. of people if you really want to. The second game would be like some kind of digital physical fusion card game that you accue digital cards the longer and more times you play it. Kind of like a street pass type of game where you could buy cards to add to it with that digital code, or you could just keep buying digital card packs and it just keeps growing as like a, like a Hearthstone or like a, like a Gwent type of game that comes with it as well that we continuously support throughout the entire lifespan of this console. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Cool. I think Google make this happen. We we did of Google course. last week. That's not that fun. Android make this happen. Thanks for listening. If you have any suggestions or products you'd like to see talked about, feel free to write in at at poundgames at gmail.com. We have a Patreon. If you'd like to join the at pound family, come find us at patreon.com slash we are not game devs. Patrons receive episodes two days early, meaning make this happen gets your ears that much sooner. If you enjoyed our show, take a second to give us a review. We're on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play Store, and more. Catch you guys next Sunday with Alex's idea. Trampoline shoes. Trampoline shoes. (laughs) 
I feel like you just gave away your idea right now. <laughs> Choose for trampoline. Sort of, sort of. No one's ever done it right. We're gonna do it right. Are there trampoline shoes? Is that a thing? Yeah, they're called moon bounce shoes. Moon shoes. Huh. Huh. Now, are you talking about shoes that you wear on the trampoline or shoes that are trampoline shoes? Tune in next week to find out.